In this video, we're going to pick up from where we left off last time, where we after which we adjusted the RF driver power, and we saw that the because the RF driver was going beyond saturation, an increase in the RF driver power to the klystron caused a decrease in RF power coming from the klystron to the accelerator, which caused a decrease in beam energy, uh, which then caused caused a change in dose rate. So we're going to we're going to now correct this by adjusting the bending magnet in order to match the energy coming from, coming from the accelerator and going towards the target. So we'll pick up again where we where we left off. So we go back to our SIMAC screen. When we do this now, SIMAC remembers the parameters we had from last time. So it, it remembers the beam we had. We have we have a 100 100 watt RF driver power, which is producing 5 megawatts of RF power. Uh, and this is now only giving us a 13.8 MeV beam coming from the accelerator. So now we have a, a small beam current at the target. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to decrease the bending magnet current. So I'm going to go from 155 amps. So if I decrease it, I'm going to allow a smaller energy to go through. So let's go from 155 amps say down to 150. And now we're going to watch our target current. We, we have 0.68 M milliamps when I hit enter. That's now going to go to 3.52 milliamps. So now we now have a higher beam current, and that's because the energy of the electrons striking the target is now 14.5 MeV, which is closer to the 13.8 that the accelerator is producing. So now mean energy that the, the uh, accelerator is producing is closer to what the uh, bending magnet is allowing to go through. So if I can, if I can, if I can, I'll continue to de decrease this a little further. So now I'm going to go to say 145. Um, amps. So now I have a 7.48 milliamp beam. We have a 14 uh, MeV, MeV beam on the, on the target, which is again very close to our 13.8. So now we're in our dose rate, of course, has gone up to 291. I'm going to now uh, keep on going. Let's go down to 140. Click enter. And our dose rate now is gone down to 232. Uh, we have 13.5 MeV, which is now lower than the, M the uh, beam energy of the electrons coming from the accelerator. So we've gone a little too far, and our dose rate is not as high as it could be. So I'm now going to increase this now to see if I can find the, if I can match the beam energies. So at 143 amps in the bending magnet, we have a, a um, Beam energy of 13.8 MeV striking the target, which matches the beam energy of the, of the electrons leaving the accelerator. We have a very high target current, and we have a very high dose rate. So this, of course, is not something that we would do normally on, a, on, an, on an accelerator, because normally what we want to do on a clinical linear accelerator is we want to make sure that the bending magnetic current never changes. We want to keep that constant, because what, what that does is it fixes the energy of the electron striking the target. And then this, the, of course, will fix some of the important clinical properties of the beam, such as the depth dose, which is a very important clinical property, and we don't want the depth dose to be changing when we adjust the accelerator. However, for the purpose of, the, of this illustration, and with a simulated accelerator like in SIMAC, we can uh, understand what this means. Uh, and so, that, so, and what we've learned is that by adjusting the the energy, uh, the 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 um, current in the bending magnet, we can then match the bending magnet path through energy with the energy of the accelerator in order to peak the dose rate. So what we're going to do in our next um, examples, we're going to do a similar exercise, but we're going to change the energy of uh, the accelerator by changing the klystron pulse voltage instead of the RF driver power.